Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV and today I'm doing a little bit of a different kind of video. Today I'm going to watch Hellblade 2's trailer and his gameplay video and I'm going to do a little commentary on it and um, a little bit of my reaction. Since I played the first one, I'm really excited to play the second and before it comes out, it should be coming out I think in a month or two? I think it's in uh, May that it comes out. It'll be on Game Pass so I'll be playing it day one and doing a playthrough of it. But before then, we're going to watch these, this trailer and see what the differences are, and let's get a little bit of excitement going. So the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to play the trailer for you guys so you can see the whole thing on its own. And then I'm going to go back and pick pieces out of it, and uh, we're going to kind of talk about it for a little bit. Alright, let's watch the trailer. I've dreamt of this. This place of fear and fury. Do you hear it? The heartbeat of the lost ones. I can feel them on my skin. Each death inked in blood. Well, first things first, we can already talk about the combat in the game. It already looks like the combat's more brutal. It, it also looks like uh, things are more dynamic rather than the first one. The first one was kind of a really simple way to fight, but it looks like this one, they improved that a lot. Another thing we can notice too is just the upgrade in detail on this game versus the first one. The first one already had really good graphics, but you can see that they're doing way better with player faces, and they're also using Unreal Engine 5. So that's going to be pretty exciting to see. And then you can see that uh, you can see like the eyelashes, you can see the water on the eyes and all that kind of stuff. There's going to be way more detail in this game than the previous. It's going to be really cool. So the trailer was really cool so far. It showed some things in the game. It looks like it's still going to be like a linear game. I think there might be like open world elements, but I don't like it to be fully open world, which would be cool. But the, the whole idea of the story in the game itself is that it kind of pulls us through it, which I actually like that about the game. So I think they'll just continue that, which would be great. All right, let's go look at the gameplay. And uh, while we're going through the gameplay, I'm going to pause it as we go, and I'll start talking about different parts while we're watching it. And she said, With our swords, we will forge new stories. Well, right off the bat, we can already hear a truth's voice as the narrator, so maybe he'll be in this one as well. To strike the gods that haunt us. might see me as weak, but I will show you what lies behind my eyes. I 
as we can see here, like Senua always already has like a bunch of people with her. Before, like I said in the first game, there was like no one. It was just like us going through a whole mental battle with her, looking after her, trying to find Dillian, her uh, her lover. So it's pretty interesting that in this one, it looks like we're gonna have a whole, basically, a tribe of Vikings that are trying to fight with us. Because she was originally like, um, I think she was uh, not a prophet, but a priestess with her mother. And I wonder if the, this is like her father's tribe or something. I don't know. We'll have to find out as we when we play the game. We will embrace our suffering, soothe our scars of grief, and break their siege of our minds. You may see them as gods. We will show you what lies behind their eyes. As you can hear right there what Truth was saying, after she uh, was killing some of the gods in the previous one, it looks like she's trying to fight the gods and continue on her path that she did in the first game. And uh, it's almost like a revenge thing. So, let's see. Listen. It's coming. He's here. That's my name. He can smell your fear. What's he say? It knows our name. To risk your own life for what you believe is your sacrifice to make. To lead others to death brings a different kind of burden. One that Senua would have to learn to bear. Now Truth is talking about the fact that she uh, has to have other people follow her and she has to be a leader. So that already describes that she's clearly leading the tribe and then... She also has the, the burden of their deaths for the things she has them do. Look at the detail of those bones. That's Unreal Engine 5. I wonder if they're using Nanite or anything like that. It looks like they're using Lumen for the lighting. Makes, makes it look way more realistic. But if they're using Nanite, there's going to be a ridiculous amount of detail in this, which would be really cool. And clearly she still has those voices in her head. That ain't going That's anywhere. Going to be you. That's going to be everyone. No one's ever killed a giant. whose eyes are clouded by fear are besieged by the ghosts that haunt them. Senua saw that to win the war we must break this siege. Break it with an unshakable truth. So a uh, truth was talking about there was a war going on. So I wonder if that's the, uh, what the story is all about in the second one. Break it with an impossible feat. Senua. Get ready. It's about to start. Uh, it's really cool that they're using the giants and stuff like that. I liked how he was actually blending into the wall and becoming part of the environment. That was pretty cool. Not to mention, uh, it'll be really cool if we get to fight really big enemies. Because in the last one, the, the first game, we only got to uh, fight the big boar. And then the lady at the end. It'd be cool if there's a lot more bigger creatures to fight. Yeah, we can do this. First, the yes. Yes. No. Yes. It's interesting that the giant knows her name. Chase me! 
Clearly the spears aren't working for her. They're just bouncing right off the giant's head. And it said, uh, she said that um, she knew him. So that's interesting too. I wonder if that's, it couldn't be Dillian or maybe her father. I don't know. Or maybe somebody completely different. We don't know yet. Either way, it was a pretty interesting end to the gameplay. All right, everybody. That was Hellblade 2, Senua's Saga. That was the trailer and some of the gameplay. The game looks awesome. On Unreal Engine 5, it's going to be really cool because the graphics are going to be way ahead of the time. And I think it'll be a benchmark for Unreal Engine 5 of what its capabilities are. Ninja uh, Theory has been working really hard on this game for a long time, and I think everybody's really excited to play it. The game's going to be coming out on Game Pass on the Xbox, so if anybody's got that Xbox ser uh, Series X and got Game Pass, you'll be able to get it probably day one, and that'll be really cool. You won't have to pay a whole bunch of money. Anybody else? Uh, I think it's only coming out on Xbox, so we'll see. But things have been changing where they've been doing more multi-platform stuff. And I think a lot of companies are trying to go more that direction anyways, instead of just going exclusive. So I, we'll have to see how that goes. Anyways, everyone, uh, why don't you leave uh, some comments down below. Tell me what you think of the game, or if you're excited about it. And if you haven't seen my first video of Senua um, Sacrifice Hellblade, the first one, you guys should go and check that out. It's on my channel. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and like the video so this can spread to more people. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.